What's going on guys? Happy Friday. Today I want to share with you my five favorite keyboard commands for Premiere to make editing video super fast. Let's go. Welcome back to our channel. Before I get into the video, I just want to let you guys know about our photo video club called Pixel and Lens. You probably heard me talk about it before. If you're interested in learning photo and video and you want to join, the link is in the description box below. Make sure you answer the questions so I know you're a real human who wants to learn how to shoot photo and video. Okay, my first keyboard command, this is actually two commands, but I consider it one. It's the in and out, I and O on your keyboard. So what I use in and out for is when I'm calling through footage, I'm looking at my clips in the source window. I'm hitting my space bar and I'm gonna watch the clip. As I see clips that I like, I'm gonna hit I and O to select a little sliver of that clip. And then I'm gonna put those in my timeline. My second keyboard command that I love is comma. So after I've set my in and out points, I'm gonna hit comma and that's gonna shoot that clip right down into my timeline right away. So I don't have to click and drag, I don't have to do any of that shit. I just hit comma and boom, it's in my timeline. And my little scrubber thing is already at the end of that clip. So then I can go back up, click my source window, play the rest of that clip, hit an in and out point, hit comma, boom. Second clip is in the timeline. Okay, my third keyboard command and this game changer, the rate stretch tool. So sometimes I do a lot of time lapses and sometimes I don't wanna set up my photo camera and shoot them properly. If you're curious about shooting time lapses on your photo camera, I have a link up here, you can check it out. Sometimes you just want a quick and dirty time lapse. So I'm just gonna take this entire clip down into my timeline. I'm gonna zoom out using minus. So now I have this huge clip, but I wanna make that into a time lapse or I wanna speed it up. So instead of right clicking on it, going speed duration, changing the speed percentage, I just use a rate stretch tool. So it's R on your keyboard. You're gonna bring your cursor right to the end of the clip. You're gonna click and drag, and that is actually gonna change the speed of your clip. But if you zoom in, you can actually see the percentage of which that clip has been sped up. So if I want it to be shorter than that, I can continue to be on R, the rate stretch tool, and I can click and drag, or I can make it a little longer if I don't want it to be as quick. So that, my friends, is one of my favorites, the right stress tool that's R on your keyboard. Number four keyboard command that makes editing super, super quick is the double arrow called track select forward tool A on your keyboard. This is super speedy for moving all the clips in your timeline down or over at once instead of having to move every individual one. Say if I wanna make a gap between these two clips here, all I have to do is select my double arrow A on the keyboard. I'll select the clip that I wanna move and it will select everything right of that. And then I just click and hold and I just make that space and uh, there it is. So that makes editing super quick, especially if you're down the timeline, you're moving stuff around and you're adding clips here and there, that one is really handy. Keyboard command number five, it's actually three keyboard commands, but I consider it one because I use them simultaneously. I kind of do the same thing except for different ways. So it's J, K, and L. J is rewind, L is fast forward, and K is stop. So if you hit L, once, it will fast forward. Twice, it will fast forward even faster. And three times, it will go even faster than that. So, when you're going through footage, and you know around where the best part is, you can kind of go back and forth in your clips super quickly by previewing everything in fast forward or rewind mode. A little bonus keyboard command. You actually have to have a special app for this one. I use an app called Keyboard Maestro. I have it set up in a specific way. If I'm over here in the project window and I'm looking at this clip here, 21, go to the next clip in the project window, 22, I'm just gonna hit double tab and it goes right away. So I never have to take my hands off the keyboard when I'm going through footage. I'm using double tab. I'm using I and O for in and out. I'm using J, K, and L to rewind and fast forward, and I'm using comma to send all those clips down to the timeline. So there you have it, five keyboard commands plus one bonus keyboard command to make editing in Premiere super duper fast. Going through footage is literally the most time consuming part of editing. You wanna make the process as quick as you can. I'd like to know what your favorite keyboard commands are, so let me know in the comments below which ones you find the most helpful, which ones you guys are using all of the time. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. Ooh, smells like new Mac smell. Microphone check, one, two.